Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and we're going to do our first Zika virus today, uh, January 30th, 2016. Zika virus has arrived in the United States. Uh, Zika virus is an infection similar to yellow fever or dengue. It is transmitted primarily by the bite of an infected mosquito. It was first identified in 1947 in the Zika forest in Uganda when researchers were there uh, investigating yellow fever. The first human transmission was known in 1968 in Nigeria, and in 2009, a researcher infected with Zika virus gave his wife Zika virus through unprotected sex, so it is actually spread human to human. A Zika virus infection either is asymptomatic, you have it and you don't even know you're sick, or you develop flu-like symptoms with fever, rash, uh, joint swelling and pain, and fatigue. It's a self-limited infection. There's no specific treatment and is rarely serious. The problem is, is if you're pregnant and you develop Zika virus, it has been known to cause birth defects in babies, uh, including microcephaly, which is a very small brain and head, and anencephaly, which is absence of the entire brain except for the brain stem, and this is incompatible with life. Um, it is known uh, to occur primarily in Central and South America and Equatorial Africa and Asia. Um, it is first noted uh, recently in the United States. There's 36 documented cases. Uh, there's been four pregnant women who are infected with the virus. Two of them are in Illinois. Um, it may or is spread sexually. We don't know the details of how long you spread this and how easy it is to spread, but you don't need to have a mosquito bite. The mosquito that uh, carries this virus is particular to the south and southwest and California. It is a daytime active mosquito, meaning uh, you get bit during the day, so not just dusk to dawn, so it's a little bit more uh, dangerous than other mosquitoes. Uh, there is no specific treatment for it, just supportive care when you get sick. Uh, we don't know where this is going to go, uh, whether people have it uh, widespread in the United States, uh, more so since we've been testing for it. Um, it has also been associated uh, to possibly cause Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a neurologic condition uh, caused by the virus. So first update today, if more different things happen, I'll let you know. Um, for right now, the CDC is just recommending some travel restrictions if you're pregnant to countries that are known to uh, have a larger volume of this infection. And you can go on the cdc.gov website and look at those specific countries. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.